as you may know, I usually end frame videos by feeding them to Helminth. This is just because obviously you have to feed them to Helminth to be able to use their abilities, but there's a little trick that I've been using that I haven't told anybody about. And I'm going to get this frame back without having to build another one. Because if we come all the way over here, and we go over here, and we come in and have a look at this, I do not have any Varuna parts. I have the blueprint to build the weapons, in some cases three of them, but not a single one of her parts, which is why she had to go into the wall. But I've learned a quick trick, and it's quite a fun one at that. So we'll kind of just swap to... The, the, the annoying thing here is more than anything else, we can't get back into the room. You'll notice the light turned off. It will not let you in there. It's just gone. That one you can get in. I do not know why it does this, but the key is the light itself has to turn off, which basically kind of, I'm going to put it as deletes the room. We cannot get in there. You can see access denied, not available. And obviously you can tell I'm recording this stupidly early on because obviously, well, it's Varuna, and Varuna was December, so it, it's been a while. I will try this again with another frame, but we will start with Varuna, and the trick is to kind of come in here, and you'll notice, and you need to kind of, I do not know why this happens, but you can clearly tell no frames in here. Swapping back to the frame, that was weird. What was that? Oh, it's going to put oh, all the way back here again. That's... Anyway, I, I cannot explain why this is happening at all. But, we'll actually quickly swap back to the operator because there's something I kind of forgot and I really wish we could jump or double jump with this. Lights on, get to what... Boom! Lights off. It's the light off part that is kind of key and important here. Hello, Frost. What are you doing? Just chilling? Okay. So we'll run back up here and you can see, where is it? A week ago. Lua's Prey came out six days ago. This is recorded just before I put the video up for Varuna. I did not want to do that. Come on. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Uh, it's, it's just being kind of weird. Anyway, I'll also admit, I like the fact that you can tilt these on such an angle it looks like that. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Light goes off. You have to make sure the light goes off before you do this. And it, it seems kind of random. I've talked to a few other people and nobody else has had this happen to them. So I don't know if it is down to placement or what of that wall. But you would have noticed this earlier, and I will not move from here. And we will look at the footage I showed earlier. You can see it right here, in the wall, right, right, the, the pink part right here. That's what first drew me to this. Because I seen this and thought, what? I think it was back with Zaku I first noticed this, because this wall was already here but you can see it right there and if we I uh, see my problem is I'm gonna have to mute this alt f for that and haven't moved still standing here that you see though my problem is it was there beforehand so that is Varuna's tail that is Varuna's tail, and we're still kind of standing in the same uh, point here, and it's Varuna wearing her A setup, not the B setup she was installed into the wall with. Now, I have come here, I have tried this, I have gone back, and if you turn around, you will quite literally jump straight back to Frost, but if you come back in here, get, look, look, there she is, right there, Varuna. In the A setup. 
I don't know why this happens, but if I was to transfer to Frost here, nothing would happen. But if I go in here and do it, I can once again control my Vruna. Light is still off. We cannot access that room. It is closed. Or is it? Damn. Damn, damn. Okay, so I stepped away from her, transferred back to Frost, came down the ramp, and it's, it's lit up again. And she's back in the wall. But I cannot explain why this happens, because if I come over here as Frost, she's gone. But if I transfer back to the operator, it is... Huh. She'll be back. There she is. I only noticed this because her tail was sticking out. Hence, we will swap to, hopefully they've released another frame by now. Next time there is a frame come out, we will try this. Hmm. If I transfer from basically back here, it goes back to Frost. But if I come to you, it necromex you. But anyway, key to this, lights come on. Because I, I did look into this ever, ever so slightly, and it was getting that light, you'll notice the light now stays on, and what it does once that light comes on is it basically, I've just doubled Varuna. There is my Varuna obviously being absorbed into the wall. But there's my Varuna not being absorbed into the wall because I have her equipped. Now, what you kind of have to do here is to make sure you keep the frame, apparently, is go and do a random mission. Any mission, just a mission. So, I don't know, any random mission? What do I have to do for this this week? Oh, I've done none of it. <laughs> Whoops. Quite literally, I've done none of it this week. Wow, that's just... I have no excuse for that. That's just straight up laziness. Am I going to? In all honesty? Thinking about not. But I will. Stick it on solo. Find... Never spawns on capture. But I will jump in here anyway then you don't have to actually watch me. I just need to make sure you know I'm starting this mission. And this is 100% my Varuna because level 30, all of the mods seem to be there for duration, power, strength. Uh, they've actually just told me that the Silver Grove is in fact here as well. So mission complete. There she is, did take out Respecter, hence the reason have final Orbinger Ob there. But it's, you literally just have to complete one mission. And when we get back to the orbit, oh, this is annoying me. This loading time, it, go, it jumps backwards, sits there, and everybody else in the squad is out and left the squad before I can do anything. But if we now go back down here, yes, I subsumed my Verona in this condition as well, because there she is. Annoyingly, didn't man manage to get these back. Can prove this by the fact that that's a Tau Forged. And no, she's not keeping these. I just threw these in there because ability strength, ability strength increased her health by 300 and effectiveness on health orbs because of the way she works. But anyway, I didn't take these out of her. This was an experiment to see whether or not these would be returned once you subsumed her, and they are not. As you can see, but, but I got it back anyway. So this isn't a way of doubling resources or anything else. That was a failed experiment that nearly cost me a Tau Forged Crystal, but... There she is, still being subsumed in the wall. And there she is, still in my possession. And if you log out and log back in, still there. And apparently this is the thing. I've spent hours looking into this after I came across her because I couldn't interact with her. She's just kind of 
standing in this corner and I've never noticed it before. But apparently this is a thing that happens and it happens with a lot of frames. You can find them just randomly standing around, whether it be on your orbiter or in your dormer zone or even somewhere in the drifters camp. It was weird to come across this, but being able to keep the frame and subsume them at the same time? Win-win, my books. And with that, I think we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and happy April Fools. <laughs>